everybody. Today we're going to make a rotisserie pork loin in the Power Air Fryer Oven Pro. Um, so you don't have to do it with the rotisserie. You could do it on the, on the, the rack like normal and just put it, if you want, constant basting or basting, fat cap up so as it cooks it renders down and the, and the pork on the top or the, the fat on the top uh, continues to uh, baste your, your meat here. Uh, or if you want it more lean, you can put it fat cap down. That's up to you. Uh, but we're going to do it with a rotisserie. We're going to do the rotisserie style. Uh, so what you do with that, it comes with this rod, right? So you take this rod, you're going to poke this rod through, and you got they call it the spit, all right? And then you got forks, and then and the the forks just fit on the rod like that, and then you got set screws. So you back them off, and once this is in the pork loin. You squeeze this over, you push this in, and you lock your set screws down. So you do one on one side and one on the other side, all right? Now, it's very important, but it says not to go beyond these indentions, not to have your forks like out here, okay? So we have to make sure our pork loin is no bigger than from here to here. So what we'll do with that is... Uh, I already had it open, I already rinsed it with water, and I already have it draining from the bottom. But what we do with that is we'll just put it on the cutting board here. Like I said, it's water, I already rinsed it off. We'll just put it right here, just like so. And then we could just measure. That's my pit bull digging his nose in the food bowl like a moron. So we just measure. Basically, we'll just go from here to here, and so we know right about here, okay? So we can go ahead and we can make chops. Pork loin chops to later. One. Try to make them consistent size so when you cook them they'll all cook up the same pork loin is a very very good cut of meat two alright let's check it again so from here so one more And what I can do with this, when I take my gloves off, I'll seal that. Now we can check it. And we're safely inside of the indention mark. So we made some pork chops, and then so here we go. Now, the trick is, and I'm not thrilled about this. I don't really like how this works. But you literally have to muscle it through. Hopefully you can see this really good. Uh, let me push the camera some. Okay. You have to muscle it through and you want to try to be in the middle. Trying to do this on the side of Cornish hands, if you're going to do two Cornish hands, then you do them this way. A full roast or chicken, you do it this way with the wings here, the legs here. Cornish hands, you do them this way. Wings, legs, wings, legs. Because they're so small. Um, it's hard to push through sometimes. But so you want to go through and you want to try to stay even as you're going through. We weren't very even. But that's okay. It's alright. We'll be alright. Um, and then, take your set screw, back it out pretty much all the way. Take this, and push it in to the meat. Like so. Lock your set screw down. And do it to the other side. It's not the most impressive uh, rotisserie setup that I've, I've seen, but I've done some Cornish hens with it. It worked out pretty cool. And so there we go. We now have rotisserie. And what's going to happen is this side that's smaller 
has the smaller little indentions right here, is going to go to the right, and this side goes to the left. This goes into the gear that's in there. Okay. Also, and I don't want to touch it right now, but it comes with a hanger that you grab and you pull it out when it's done. So it's actually kind of neat. I'm going to go ahead and take one glove off so I can touch this stuff and leave one glove on so I can work the meat. A little olive oil. And this is going to help get it nice and kind of crispy on the outside. And it also is a nice little agent for the seasonings to mix to. Seasonings, whatever you want guys. However you want it. A little brown sugar if you want. A little honey if you want. You just got to be careful because you could burn it. Sugars will burn pretty quick. Massage that right on in there. Okay? Now, I have it inside out. Put your seasonings. Salt. Toothpaste, some garlic, minced garlic. So you have to use kind of the bigger one for the minced garlic. That's going to brown up nice, give you some nice color. And some minced onion. And you see how, oh, that smells so good. See how it sticks to it from the oil? Okay. Now you can take this, using the glove, there we go, and repeat. Some salt, some pepper. I absolutely love cooking. Some garlic, some onion. Load it up. It's all right. It's just a. It's just a skin. You want it to be really flavorful. Right here you have a rail, and right here you have a rail. All right, so you slide it down the rail, and then there's your gear. Remember what I told you. You're going to use the small end on this side, set it on the rack, and then the big end on that side, and you're going to push it up all the way back, and then you're going to spin it a little, and there you go. Spin it a little and push it that way into the gear, and that's it. Now, this is going to spin, and let me wash my hands. All right, so that's going to spin and cook beautifully. So we're going to go power on, light on, we're going to go 400, and we're going to go 30 minutes. We're going to check the internal temperatures at that point. So you hit on, and then you hit this button right here, which is the rotisserie, and see it's starting to go. And that's it. We'll be back in a little bit. I'll give you guys an update. Alright guys, it's been a little bit over 20 minutes and I just wanted you guys to see how it's cooking, see how it's browning the herbs and everything, the spices that we put on there, the onion and the garlic. Uh, we're going to look for the temperature just to, just to give us a, a gauge as to where we're at. Um, with uh, chops and roasts, loins and stuff like that now, pork, the new guidelines is 145 internal. However, ground pork, you're still going to go up to about 165. Um, so let me go ahead and see if I can get a reading on this. Give me just a second. We're at 95. So we're going. It's been 22 minutes of the 30 that I set it for. And I think the book called for uh, 45 minutes. But the book still had the old guidelines of 165 internal. So we'll check it again in 8 minutes and see where we're at. And then we're going to bring it on up in 5 minute increments. Because it, it goes pretty quick. So we don't want to dry it out. Remember, 
once the meat's done, loosely wrap it up in some tin foil and let it rest. Very important to let the steam inside turn back to juice. That's called resting, all right? We'll be back. 37 minutes total cook time, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 43. Ah, uh, we're good, 144, and it's still gonna go up. So, we're good. Uh, now let me show you what we got here. Watch this. Dogs, stop. There's a squirrel in the backyard, sorry about that everybody. You got this, see how it's got little hooks right here? You just reach in here and you grab this little booger, lift up, slide it over, and then come back out these rails. Okay, now look at this. Here's your rotisserie. Let's wrap it up. Okay, and then what I like to do is keep it out of keep it out of reach of the dogs. So I will go ahead and start working on my sides, and we'll be back to plate it up. Okay, you guys ready for this? Now listen, um, this this one took 37 minutes at 400 degrees. Um, this is going to vary by the size of the pork loin that you purchase. Some of them they make are really small. Okay, so it's going to be totally, oh my god, that smells so good. It's going to be totally up to you as to what, uh, you know, how long you cook it for. But like I said, you're looking for that 145 degrees. Um, so take these, right? Now here's the thing. I want you to be really careful you don't lose these. Put them in a jar. And then I, what I do is I take the forks and these nuts, or these bolts, and I just put them in the, uh, I put them in a jar here. Sometimes they can be a little bit tricky to get off, especially when they're hot. You have to line it up perfect. There we go. And same thing here. Then I take hot water with some soap. You don't want to lose those little nuts down the bowl, down, down your drain. Alright, so we'll take care of that later. And then you have, look at that, wow. See, that's cooked. I don't, that's, that's good juice right there. Oh boy. But you see how the rotisserie, see how it, it like blackened the garlic and the onion? I mean, it's so pretty. Get a little closer maybe. Now this is still pretty darn hot. So be careful what you do here. We let it rest about, I don't know, 12 minutes, 11, 12 minutes. Like, I clean up as I go. Everything's put into Tupperware already. All my sides. But I know what you guys are waiting for. You're ready to jump in. And see this delicious cut of meat. Nice, crispy skin. Oh my goodness gracious. It looks like a sponge. Can you see? Can you see the juice? Oh my goodness. No oil added. Air fried. I mean, I, I mean my goodness gracious. An entire pork loin cooked to perfection in 37 minutes. One, two, three. Wow. So impressive. 
Unbelievable. All right, let's keep plating it up. I know you guys. We got some dirty rice, wild rice, whatever you want to call it. Oh, we're not done yet, guys. Yams. You're like, what are yams? You know what sweet potatoes are? Close enough. Softened butter. By letting the butter hang out, it'll soften your butter for you. Use that. Cinnamon. Natural fat burner, by the way. If you're a porker. Biscuits. How's that, guys? Not a bad little meal, huh? Yams, cinnamon with melted butter, wild rice, biscuits, oven cooked. Could have come out a little bit sooner, but that's okay. They're good. And perfectly cooked lean pork loin. Rotisserie style. Bon appetit. All right, guys, until the next one. Thank you.